Hey there, Capricorn. I hope you guys are doing really well. This is a relationship reading for you. Uh, messages may or may not resonate. Feel free to take what does, leave the rest. Um, if you're interested in getting in touch with me for a reading or any questions, um, my information is in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get an oracle energy out here for your reading, Capricorn. What energy does Capricorn need to see at this time? One. Okay, that's too many. <laughs> it's like seven cards. One card, please, for the energy Capricorn needs to hear about at this time. Chop wood. Show me energy for okay. You have demisexual tendencies. So <laughs> demisexuals, I'm I'm a demisexual. <laughs> um, people who really don't have much of a attraction to something until they have an emotional connection with somebody it's not just rushing into a physical relationship with somebody it doesn't really do much for that type of personality uh, this is somebody that wants to feel a deep core connection with a person and so with this it's telling me capricorn that with chop wood this energy is about the mundane aspects of life it's the the basic ins and outs of your daily existence what you do, you know, this is, this is kind of an interesting energy just because it talks about getting to know each other very slowly, just through the basic acts of life. You know, this is slow dating. This is taking the time. This is like snail mail, you know, but there's a lot that can be, like, there's a lot that can come out of that type of connection. Like there's beauty that comes out of it because when you have such patience, and I know you guys are super patient, um, you get to see all aspects of people. You get to see people in their darkness and their light. You get to see them in their highs and lows. And and you can't just choose whatever you want to see. Like if somebody's having a bad day, you get to view that. You get to see how they handle things. You get to express with them. You know, if they're having a good day, how do they deal with it? How do they enjoy it? How do they share it? This is basically in a relationship sense. This is sharing the ins and outs of our days. This is simplicity in a certain way. It's about um, being patient in, in the mundane aspects of life and experiencing people for who they are and the slow inertia that is part of life. Um, I like this because it says an emotional bond is built here through time and through getting to know each other. So... Um, it feels here that this may be a newer connection, Capricorn. And for some of you, if you're already in existing relationships, this may just be a call to, you know, um, get to know your partner, like deepen your emotional bond with your partner, do more things together with your partner, do the basic stuff together. You know, if, if one person does this and the other person does that, Maybe help them re-engage with certain things. Hey, babe, do you want me to make you a cup of coffee? Oh, I know you like that tea. Would you like that? You know, can I fold these clothes for you? It's the silly, stupid little things. Let me scoop the cat box because I know you do it all the time. You know, stuff like that. Um, make their favorite dinner for them. Treat them like they're gold because they are. And the more that you connect with this person, the deeper your bond is built. You know, healthy bonding. There's trauma bonds all over the place in this world. And most of us are dealing with that kind of stuff. I see it all the time in tarot readings. But healthy, loving bonds where we bond together through love and through expression, that is gold. If you can reintroduce that into your relationship or cultivate that in a deeper and more meaningful way, excellent. If you are in a newer connection, take your time. There is zero reason to rush this. Can you show me energy for Capricorn, please? You have the Four of Cups coming out in reverse. 
The Four of Cups in reverse is talking about a situation where maybe somebody here, um, you do have the, the uh, Justice card at the bottom of the deck, maybe somebody, you know, maybe the situation is somebody that is resurfacing in our life or maybe somebody that we had rejected or had, you know, not, no, maybe not rejected, but hadn't been interested to take things into a deeper, you know, stage with us is is deciding to change that direction they're they're being open to the opportunity to give this a chance because there's something about this that there's an authenticity about it that um you know to be slowly paced is is uh, the way to go here and so it feels like that is a fair way to approach this um especially if somebody's had a lot of pain in their life too where it's like People have rushed things. They've got, they've rushed themselves. Maybe you've rushed yourself into situations where it's like, I should have taken my time here. This is allowing things to change or allowing ourselves to re-enter something or enter something for the first time. And it's, it's saying, go slow, be honest with the process, you know, be fair in how we treat each other. It's intentional energy. wheel of fortune here capricorn which is a blessing within itself this talks about um <laughs> opportunities that you don't see coming here with the high priestess there's it's an interesting energy because i feel like there's a lot to learn from each other here it feels like um being in this connection it's something that helps to change your minds about something some things it helps to see the world through a person's eyes and see how they take care of certain situations, see how they um, operate in life, you know, and perhaps things that we had a very fixed vision on, you know, it's like being in this connection helps dissolve some of those, those restrictions, those views, those limitations, those barriers and boundaries. It helps us be available to seeing things in a different way. I like this energy just because it's saying I'm giving this a chance and I'm allowing the, the grace of the universe to bless me with the opportunities that it does. And it helps me show up in different ways. It helps me gain a different vantage point and viewpoint on how love can be, what it can mean, you know. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very, um, you may be dealing with a Pisces person or a Cancerian person. Um, the energy, though, is one of somebody who they don't need to be in a relationship. OK, they don't need to be uh, <laughs> devoured and I'm sure they want to be devoured, but by the right person, um, they can take their time. You know, they take their time. They're, they're very secure in their inner world here, Capricorn. And uh, you may be dealing with somebody who's very psychic, very intentional, very intuitive about what they do. And so um, they feel everything. You know, they don't just jump into things. They feel things, you know. And so it feels like there's the gift of um, expression here with this person. Uh, I, I like this energy for you. Wow. You have the King of Pentacles, your energy Capricorn, and you have the Knight of Cups coming through here. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. So what this tells me, Capricorn, is that this energy, I feel like you are expressing yourself in a deeper and more meaningful way with this person. The nice thing about the King of Pentacles as well is that it's a very slow moving energy. It's all of that inertia type energy. It's all of the slow process and expression and letting things grow in the time that they're, they're needing to grow in. Um, we don't mind doing the slow dance. That's actually where where the beauty is. It's in the slow dance because you feel comfortable with each other. You can feel at ease with each other. I feel here that if this is a relationship that has started out slowly, it's maintaining its pace, but it's also deepening in, in love and energy. You know, here I split the deck and we have the temperance card. This talks about 
that balance that comes through connections that is palpable. It's the alchemical marriage. I'm not saying that, oh, you're going to get married, maybe, but it's, it's where we realize that there's some sort of like alchemical dance that just bonds us deeper and deeper within each other. It's a seamless symbiotic energy, something symbiotic. It feels like there's an expression of love here from you to this person where it's like, it takes time, but it's like the time that you take to get to know this person, the more connected you become, the more intense that that connection becomes. The lovers. Knight of Cups to the Lovers. I mean, this is a connection that feels right. It's a connection that you both decide upon. Um, could be dealing with a Gemini person, but this is something that feels at ease. It feels passionate. It feels like, what is that saying? Like, um, you know, at the right temperature, things will simmer. Maybe that's not the saying, but things will simmer in the right way. What I'm getting is that stupid show, The, the Critic, is from the 90s. Hang on. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I had my phone on silent. That is not the case. Um, there's a show called The Critic, and the wife says something to her about her husband, like, oh, it takes years to get a man to the proper boil you know it's it's that kind of energy maybe not years but like it feels like the intention is here to be present with somebody to cultivate a relationship i don't feel rushed at all here i feel like there's an energy where it's like we start from the beginning and the process is is taken from that stage and it moves forward even as i split the deck you have the ten of pentacles here so this is something that can potentially last for a long time the king of pentacles doesn't involve himself in things where there's no opportunity you know if he doesn't see value or merit in something not going to invest temperance again Judgment, bottom of the deck. It is the balance. It is the choice to be in balance with somebody. It is the effort that it takes to connect with somebody. Um, the energy is one of wanting to hold on to this. It's seeing the value in a person, in how they operate, in what they provide, and what they present themselves to be. And it's realizing that the core of this person's content and who they are is incredibly like it's a diamond in the rough it's incredibly valuable these type of bonds don't happen every day you have the world here and again at the bottom of the deck you have judgment with the ace of swords this talks about the clarity is there we know what we want um, we accept the challenges that are involved in this situation because the outcome and the experience along the way is absolutely important to us. Um, you have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas that are all very beautiful, very positive, very much about growth, change, acceptance, um, accepting gifts that are given to you by the universe this this relationship gives the opportunity of growth and progression into the next phase of your life but is with a person with somebody of your choice can you show me demisexual tendencies please you have the page of cups I'm sorry. This is the um it's a page. I feel like that's the page. Give me one sec. I'm just gonna look through here. It's Italian. <laughs> I don't speak Italian. I'm gonna pause this, hang on. Yes, this is the page of cups. Sorry you guys. <laughs> 
The Page of Cups is slow and intentional. It is of getting to know things in person in a very intentional way. It's it's starting from the beginning. It's emotional expression. It's happiness. It's wanting to express in a, in a very clear way that I have feelings for you, you know, but it starts from the beginning. I love that. And the bottom of the deck for that, you have the Ten of Cups. So... I feel like the Ten of Pentacles popped out earlier, but the Ten of Cups is also here now, which talks about a very deep emotional satisfaction between you and a partner that grows and grows and grows. Show me chop wood, please. For chop wood, you have the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. So you very well may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio person, um, Capricorn, but the Four of Cups here with this energy, um, you have it here and it's in reverse. Chop wood, you know, this is, this is, it's slow. It's an intentional beginning. It's people making decisions based on choice rather than like being driven by their emotions and trying to force something to happen here it feels like we are very intentional intentional on the incremental process of time and of getting to know each other and some of you this may be a situation where things did not happen in the past and maybe we're allowing them to happen now because we do have this judgment energy here um but with the queen of cups this energy is one of deep emotional connectedness. It's one of being patient in situations because we see the, val the, the um, value in situations. We are very loving and expressive. The Eight of Cups beneath that. I feel like there's been a lot of mishaps in the history of love, either for you or this person. A lot of certain situations that have had to been walked away from because love could not be expressed and bloomed in a way that has been positive here. Um, this also may be somebody who's opening themselves up now to love after walking away from this initially. So you may have some sort of reconciliation energy here, but it has uh, the ability to go the long haul. Can you show me for Capricorn? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Peace. I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. The thing about this is, though, um, bottom of the deck, you have relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my highest good. And, and that is the energy being presented here, even at the bottom of the deck as well. Under that, you have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Slow and steady wins the race. You have to be friends with your partner before things actually take any type of like real turn for the positive, you know? Um, it, so many people rush into relationships, Capricorn, and like it shows, you know, they're in disarray. They're trying to control situations. They're not, you know, being present in the matter because they're trying to control the matter, you know, and people end up heartbroken and I feel here we have somebody who's sensitive enough to realize that the pace that they set is intentional you know they are in intentional about the peace their peace is precious and when they are in a relationship that provides peace that is what is to be held on to that is what is to be nurtured and grown and that is what feels like it's happening here this may be a friendship even under friendship you have love you know, under that is surrender, surrendering to love. But this is this is an energy that is something that can grow here for you through patience and through accepting the process. I feel like there's a lot here that is maybe you didn't realize could grow like this. It's really beautiful, actually. Can you show me a message for Capricorn, please? You have daydream. You will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This, this is the seat of creativity.
Let, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And that is what it feels like it's doing here, Capricorn. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This may be a connection that has, you know, in the past, maybe we didn't move forward with it. Maybe somebody rejected it. It feels like that. You'll stuff under that very soon. Um, it feels like there is a deep connection here and it pulls you together, um, but for all the right reasons. And the process here is what is most important. Um, I feel here that it's important to pace yourselves and it feels like that is what is happening. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this is helpful. Um, very nice energy. You know, I know not everybody's dealing with that because a lot of us are dealing with tumultuous connections, but, you know, maybe, maybe for somebody here, this is something that's going on in your life. And, and if that is the case, this is a beautiful blessing. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope it's helpful. Feel free to comment, like, and, um, contact me if you wish. Take care. Bye-bye Capricorn.